Hey there, Masterclass folks. So I wanted to show you how to make a table of contents inside of Scrivener because it's not necessarily um, intuitive unless you've seen it done before, but once you have, it's really not so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna first do it for ebook and then I'm gonna show you how it's slightly different for the paperback version. Okay, so we'll start with the ebook. So here's what mine currently looks like. So each of these are actually hyperlinks. So when you export the final file and people are reading it in Kindle, they can click on it and it'll just take them to that section of the book, which is really cool. So here's how to get that. So really, so I've already, here's, I've got it already done, but what I could do is I could just add a new text and you could just call it table of contents. And so it's a blank page. Now what I'll do is I'll go down into my manuscript. So the, the stuff that's going to actually be my book is inside of this manuscript dropdown. So I'll just click and then hold down shift to select everything that I want to be in my table of contents. But notice if I do this, here, I'll just show you. So I'm going to hit copy, go to table of contents, and then come in here and just hit paste. So you can see it, it gave me part one, part two, all the myths, which are over here. Now notice there's no spacing, so you have to enter. You can just edit it as if it were text and make it look however you like. You can even make stuff bold. So like I might want to make these parts bold. And then you, you have close to like what I had up here. You can also indent and stuff. But you might be thinking, well, wait a second. I want the things underneath these folders to show. If you do, then all you have to do is open them up before you do your copying. So for me, I wanted to have all my little subtopics in the chapters showing. So you just have to open them up. And then if you go control or click and then hold down or click the other one, holding down shift and then copy and come back over here and you can see the difference. So now oh, it kind of took all the bold for formatting because I had bold right above it, but now you can see it's got the other parts inside. So you can even do indentations for those or whatever you like. Okay. So then you can just edit from there and that's what it looks like for Kindle. Now for print book, I really recommend that you launch your whole Kindle book, make your formatting perfect for Kindle and then save as, so create a new copy and then edit that copy for your print book. Cause they're going to be certain things that are a little bit different. Like, um, let's say you're inside of here and you preview your book and this last line shows up on its own page and you're like, ah, I don't want that. So you could like take out a space and add like an extra space or something to force it to fall on a page. Like you like it, but you won't need to worry about that for an ebook. So, it could be slightly different. So I kind of like to have two different files, one for ebook and one for um, your print. Now let's talk about table of contents. So I'm going to shut this one. So table of contents for paperback is a little bit different. So here's my little test one that I've got going right here. This file is not actually what I used for my print book. So I don't have the whole uh, table of contents here. Just started it to give you a little preview. So see how it has this extra dollar sign and then P essentially what that is, is code. It will pull in the page number that that item falls on, which is really cool. And we don't want that for Kindle because everyone's e-reader is different, but for print, it'll actually put the page number that that item falls on. So you don't have to go through and figure that out yourself. That would be horrible. Okay. So here's how you get to here. So just like we did before, we want to just select all the things we want in the table of contents. So I can just go, all the way through, hold down, shift, click. So as I click the top thing, hold down, shift, click the bottom thing. And now instead of just copying it like normal, I just hit command C cause I'm on a Mac. This time we have to go to edit and then copy special. So copy special, copy documents as TOC table of contents. So click that, then go back here. And again, you could even just start fresh if you didn't if you don't have like a contents thing, that doesn't mean that you're behind just to make your own little text thing, call it what you like. So table of contents. So now when I hit paste, it puts 
all of those items in there with the page numbers too. And so you can even edit the fonts of it. If you're like, oh, I don't like how that looks. I want it to be smaller or I want it to be bigger. You can also make these bold. or indent, hit enter, things like that. Okay, so that's how you make a table of contents for ebook and for print. And once you go and hit file compile, you'll be able to actually export the file as a PDF for print or as an EPUB or a Mobi file for your Kindle, and you'll be able to see what it looks like. So maybe I'll just do a um, PDF really fast. Let's see if we can, it's not going to be perfect, but we'll take a peek and see if I've got table of contents in there. Okay. Let me hit compile. Okay, and I've actually got this to show only my Scrivener. So I will um, add a screenshot underneath this video afterwards because I don't think it's going to show for you guys. Okay, but let me know if you have questions about making the table of contents and I'm happy to help further.